Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 29th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be talking about the do while loop in Perl. So the do while loop is an exit control loop and it is different from uh, the while or for loop in the sense that in while loop we evaluate the test condition to decide whether we want to execute the code that's in the body of the loop or not. Uh, in do while loop we execute the code in the body at least once uh, before checking for the test condition you know so even if the condition is false at the beginning we are going to have at least one iteration of the loop so to demonstrate the syntax I have a file here that's called do while and in this file on line number three I have uh, created a scalar variable that's uh, called X and it has the value 10 and uh, on line number five I have uh, a keyword do and on line number six I have uh, an opening curly brace uh, to mark the beginning of the, the body of the loop on line number nine I have the corresponding closing curly brace and I also have the keyword while immediately after the brace right and this is where you put the while keyword along with the, the test condition so my condition is x is less than equal to 20 and it should work the same way as uh, the while loop you know um, this is familiar code we've seen it in the past inside the body of the loop I'm not doing anything fancy I'm just printing the value of X and I'm also updating X uh, so that you know this condition eventually becomes false so let me run this script to show you the output you know there we go we see numbers from 10 to 19 and this is the exact output that we got with the the while loop you know when we uh, had similar code inside the body of the loop but things become interesting when I give X an initial value of 100 so we know that 100 is not less than 20 so this condition is false at the offset if we were using while loop then you know we wouldn't have gotten any output for this script but since we are using do while loop and as I mentioned that even if the test condition is false we'll have at least one iteration when we run the code we see 100 on screen and that's because we got to this point and immediately we went inside the body of the loop we printed the current value of x which is 100 we updated x so x became 101 and then we got to the while part where the condition was checked x it w wasn't found to be less than 20 and uh, you know we didn't have any more iterations but you know since this is do while we at least printed the value of x once so the you know why is this useful it's useful because there could be situations in which you want to do something at least once like you know if you're building a program that displays menu to users on screen with an option to exit then you would want the user to at least see the menu uh, before deciding to you know do something with your program interact with it or you know simply press uh, whatever key or you know provide input to exit and um, you know it's it's a pro it's a programming concept that is not present just in Perl but in almost all programming languages it's 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 a very useful thing and this is how you use it in Perl so that's it for this tutorial I hope you guys had fun watching this one you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm gonna see you in the next video till then take care